everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're here for the first time hi my name is busari molayo and i'm a registered nurse based in nigeria on this channel i film about nursing and healthcare. in today's video i'm going to be talking about basic nursing instruments or equipment you should know if you're a nursing student or you're a practicing nurse <laughs> Starting from the very obvious or common ones and the not very obvious or common ones. So the first one I have on my list is the stethoscope. Obviously, this is a very popular equipment used by nurses and this is used in auscultation. Basically, auscultation means to listen to sound. So if you're listening to the BP sound or you want to listen to the heart sound or the lung sound, this is the equipment that you would be using. Number two, I have the kidney dish, which ends its name from the shape. The kidney dish um, most times acts as a receiver for used swab, used um, blasters, used equipment, used um, forceps and all of that. That is what this is majorly used for. It's also used to receive fluids and water um, during procedures. Um, next on my list is the patella hammer, which sometimes may be used to check for reflexes. So you, sometimes nurses may have to check reflexes of their patients and this is the equipment they will be using. Next on the list, I have the galley pot. The galley pot comes in different sizes based on the procedure you want to perform or what you want to use it for. It is used to um, keep um, swabs. When I mean swabs, I mean cutting balls, swabs. Um, gauze and fluid lotion and so many other things that you want to use possibly for dressing or cleaning up the gallipots is equipment used for purposes purposes like that obviously the next instrument is the thermometer which is an obvious equipment used by nurses to check the body temperature although you have different types of thermometer you have the bath thermometer the wall thermometer the clinical thermometer so the one we use majorly is the clinical thermometer which is um either going to be the mercury glass thermometer or the um digital thermometer that's the those are the two common clinical thermometers used by nurses next on the list i have um the dissecting forceps which is used to pick up cotton swabs and gauze whenever you're dressing most times you also have the artery Forces, which is used um, alongside dissecting forceps in picking up swabs and also used in clamping um, um, tubes and yeah tubes basically then you also have the ng tube which is used to feed a patient that cannot tolerate food orally possibly they have to feed them via ng tube yeah it is used in feeding patients and sometimes pass through the nose and if it's for babies most times pass through the mouth you also have the foley catheter which is used to um, drain urine from the ureter in a situation where the patient cannot pass urine on their own or possibly for um, pre-surgery conditions where you need to constantly drain urine and also for patients that have urinary retention yes folic acid is used in draining their urine next on the list is the sputum mug now the sputum mug is obviously used to receive sputum from a patient i also have on the list the mouth gag the mouse gag is used to keep the um, mouth of a patient open, possibly when you want to do your oral care, possibly for an unconscious patient that you need to clean up the mouth, or you just need to keep the mouth of a person open. Mouse gag is the instrument that you would be using. I also have the sphygmo manometer, which is an uh, obvious equipment used by nurses in checking blood pressure also after the speaker manometer i have the euro bag the euro bag is usually connected to the foley catheter which i mentioned earlier on whenever um, a patient's urine is being drained now, the euro bag is actually calibrated so this makes it possible for nurses to measure the amount of urine actually present in the euro bag you know and they more or less can calculate the amount of urine that a patient is passing daily other equipments I also have are the bed pad, which is obviously um, used in patients that cannot use the toilet on their own and they need to be offered bed pan just to ease themselves. They also have the urinal that is used for male patients when they want to urinate. Most times the female patients have to use the bed pan for both urine and yeah, to <laughs> and also do other things. Then next on the list, I have the tongue depressor which is also another equipment used by nurses. Obviously by its name, you have to depress the tongue. Maybe whenever you want to go into the uh, mouth to bring out a, a sample or something like that, you would have to use a tongue depressor. So those are basic 
nursing equipment that a nursing student should know, should be able to recognize because those they are um basic instruments in the sense that you would have to use them almost every day on the ward or often on the ward if you're a nurse and you can also be asked to talk about them or describe them in your OSCE that's objective structured clinical examination so i hope this video has helped you if you enjoyed this video kindly leave it a like subscribe below to the youtube channel to become a family member you can send a message to the go depend on the whatsapp number on your screen right now to become a family member you get access to free classes free tutorials and so many other programs webinars that we have for our community members with that being said i'll see you in my next video bye